I think I think addicts are special people. I think addicts are special people. Um, they get judged a lot, but I think they're special people, and they've just been misdirected. I think if you take their energy and redirect it to something positive, you'll be amazed at what they can do. Um, my cousin, who I'm coaching right now, joined my weed challenge and this running challenge with me. And he lives in the same town as me. And uh, he's already ran 250 kilometers this year in two weeks. I haven't even hit 100 kilometers yet. He's 320 pounds. Wow. So we've been talking about it as well. And it's that addictive personality. You just need to set your aim at something better. You know, we were good at drinking beer. We were good at smoking dope. We're going to be good at running. You just have to redirect what you're pointed at and then fucking tackle it. I think, I don't think I'm special. I think most people can do what I do. Maybe not the cold stuff. It's a little, little too much for most, but um, you just need to be pointed in the right direction sometimes and let loose. I really like that. And, and it's, it's noticeable with certain guys that have struggled with addiction that they turn their lives around, you know, they get addicted to something else, but something that's really good. I don't know if you've ever like listened to or heard Rich Roll. Um, you know, he's, he's an American guy. He has one of the biggest podcasts in the world, but he, um, he was also like a big time addict, uh, booze and drugs and everything like that. And then, you know, it took him a while to kind of turn things around and he had a couple of slip ups, but now he's like a ultra marathon runner, like, you know, um, huge Iron Man and all these sort of things, and has one of the big biggest podcasts in the world. And um, he's just, he's the same, you know what I mean? Like, um, he's using that uh, addiction in the right way, which is which is definitely, like you said, it's you can actually use it positively, which is powerful. Yeah, I find addicts are some of the most loyal people that you'll ever meet. Interesting. In what way? In like friendship? Or... Well, friendship. Yeah. Um, just just their personality type um, they've been loyal to a drug normally but if you can break them free of what they and redirect them they're just something about a, a recovering addict who's successful and who's overcame their addiction they just some of the best people I've ever met are coming from the addiction space and the recovery space and I'm uh I never really considered myself an addict like some of these people, you know, a lot of people get hooked on heroin and they find themselves losing everything in their lives. And I never really considered myself to be an addict. I was probably addicted to the booze and the cigarettes and you don't want to call yourself an addict, but I never really considered myself an addict. So I never put that label on myself like others seem to do. Um, but there's, I don't know, just something about the people that overcome all those addictions. They seem to uh, be great people and they get judged a lot. But uh, I think uh, I think there's diamonds in the rough with most of them. Totally agree. And and it's, it is, it's that judgment, you know, like we humans are really bad at that, aren't we? We, we look at people and we go, mm, he's a fucking dick because of whatever, you know, and, um, but you never know, like, you you're seeing the tip of that iceberg with a person you have no clue what they've gone through in life like what started that addiction like you know you just you just don't know you know people don't necessarily speak about these things either and that's why you you almost just need to be like extremely kind and compassionate and go okay cool that's your life right now i'm not here to judge you i hope you sort it out somehow and but it's difficult. Humans don't do that necessarily. Mm -mm. No, no. And I, I'm not, I'm not great at it either. I have a thing called the anti mentor and I judge people all the time to keep myself focused on what I don't want to be. So I'm not out here trying to, you know, pretend I'm not a judging person. I do it like the rest of us, but I see, I see the 40 or 50 year old outside on his smoke break outside and they look like shit and you can tell they smell and they're sitting there smoking outside in their 10 minute break. And I look at that person and I say, that's exactly what I don't want to be. 
and I call them my anti-mentors. And uh, that's judging people too, and that's not the best, but it it helps me to focus on the things I don't want to be. I think it's, it's, what's wrong with it? I don't know if that's a good thing, but it's like, you know, you have to sometimes go, okay, cool. This is what I don't want in life, you know? And there's, there's probably always going to be someone that, that is that person and you go, cool. Well, thank you for teaching me that. And that's just sometimes the, the sort of harshness of life, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. The, the, the 50 year old drinking at a bar by himself while his family's somewhere else, you know? the divorced dad who's uh, not at home seven days a week with his kids while another man raises them. Those are people I don't want to be.